It's been nearly two years since a mother of two was killed and left for dead on Jacksonville's west side. The victim, Nikki Redden, was only 25 years old. Well, now her family is finally starting to get some closure as they expect the suspect to be indicted on murder charges tomorrow. Her sister spoke with our Shelby Danielson tonight. It's a story you'll see all new at 11. This is where that young mother was found in Baldwin covered in stab wounds. What was once a crime scene you can see now is a memorial in her honor. This is where that body was discovered just before 8 o'clock last night. It was May 1st, 2016, when police found a young woman here. They later identified this victim by her tattoos. She was sliced, stabbed. She was cut multiple times. 25 year old Nikki Redden, mother of two daughters ages three and six. I was actually showing my dad some pictures of my dad and Nikki and her little girl pushing them right here on our swing set. Two weeks before she was killed, Redden was here with her older sister it's Kim. Brings back a lot of memories. Kim Redden says it's been a long two years waiting for answers, but on Wednesday, her family met with the state attorney's office. She now anticipates a suspect to be charged with her sister's murder on Thursday. Feels like a burden was lifted. Foul yeah. play was never in question, but she believes DNA evidence now supports the case. Until an indictment is made in front of a grand jury Thursday, the family doesn't want to say the suspect's name, but he was connected to their family, which is perhaps the hardest part. This was so close to home that it's just devastating. She has a poem ready to read in court in front of her sister's killer someday that says in part, quote, I wish I could see you one more time. Come walking through the door, but I know that is impossible. I will hear your voice no more. To wake up every morning and know that she's not with us, it's really heartbreaking. It says justice for Nikki. I'm going to soon get me a shirt that says justice served. Kim Redden wants her story to inspire other families to never give up fighting for justice. Now that suspect that's expected to be indicted tomorrow is already behind bars right now for grand theft. The state attorney's office has declined to comment at this time. Reporting in Baldwin, Shelby Danielson, First Coast News on your side.